Hello, in this session we'll see another problem on Bedel equation of polar curve. So, equation is r to the power of m equal to a to the power of m times of cos m theta plus sin m theta. So, with this, let us take the polar curve that is r m e to the power of m cos m theta plus sin m theta. Now, if we take log on both the sides, we will have log of r to the power of m equal to log of e to the power of m plus log of cos m theta plus sin m theta. Now, with the power rule, we will have this as m times of log of r to the power of m equal to log a to the power of m. We not change this because this is just a constant. This log of cos m theta plus sin m theta. Now if we differentiate this with respect to theta, we'll have m times of 1 by r dr by d theta equal to 1 by cos m theta plus sin m theta and in the numerator we'll have minus m sin m theta plus m cos m theta. So for now this is taking like m common from both the sides we will have 1 by r dr by d theta equal to cos m theta minus sin m theta by cos m theta plus sin m theta. So if we divide everything on the right side by sin m theta. So dividing numerator and denominator, we will have cot phi equal to cot m theta minus 1 by cot m theta plus 1. And we are getting this cot phi since tan phi is r d theta by dr. So cot phi is just reverse of it. Now this given expression is actually cot of pi by 4 plus m theta. The reason being, if you remember, tan of, or rather, I'll say cot of a plus b will be cot a minus cot b by 1 plus cot a cot b and this m theta will be a let's say and this minus 1 or plus 1 is actually because of cot of pi by 4 so we can say b is pi by 4 therefore we can say this expression is actually cot of pi by 4 plus m theta. From here we can compare the angles and you can say that phi will be pi by 4 plus m theta. Now coming back to the distance perpendicular distance of the tangent of the pole at any point this is given as p equal to sine phi times of r and then with this sine phi where phi is pi by 4 plus m theta this will become r times of sine of pi by 4 plus m theta and since we want p to be r times of g of theta so that we can actually eliminate this theta so let us expand things on the right side 
so expanding on the right side this should be r times of sin pi by 4 cos m theta plus cos pi by 4 times of sin m theta this is p and we can take down the values of sin pi by 4 and cos pi by 4 and the values for sin and cos pi by 4 which is 1 by root 2 gives this relation as p equal to r times of let's say sin pi by 4 and cos pi by 4 being equal can be taken outside as root 2 so this is cos m theta plus sin m theta now we'll get back to our polar equation which was r to the power of m equal to a to the power of m times of cos m theta plus sin m theta the easiest way to eliminate theta will be dividing these equations so that we get on dividing p by r to the power of m equal to r by root 2 times of a to the power of m and this cos m theta plus sin m theta term will actually get cancelled so this will further give us the relation that is p times of root 2 times of a to the power of m equal to r to the power of m plus 1 so we have got an equation in p and q and therefore this will be the required pedal equation root 2 a to the power of m p equal to r to the power of m plus 1 is the pedal equation i hope things are clear here thank you